What's up, everybody? All right, so I've been wanting to do this since I tried to do the alcohol ink um, on black and white. I did half, kind of a half black and kind of faded into the white um, galaxy, kind of like a, I just wanted to see if the alcohol inks would, would show up on the black paint after you put the uh, resin over it. And it kind of did, but it made a really nice fade from, from the white to the black and gave it kind of a nice little dimension. So I thought, why not try to do like a black hole, like space galaxy coming out. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna try to do today with alcohol inks and uh, let's try this. All right, so here we have an 18 inch round um, MDF board that my man Ray over at Via Arts made for us. Um, it's a MDF cradle board, two pieces. Um, he has routed a little wedge, little thing <laughs> inside here you can kind of see to where you can hang it any way you would like. So, and then that way you know that it's not gonna slip off the uh, the back of this anywhere. If you want, you can put a D-ring on there, whatever you like, but we did this so that you can hang it any way you like it. And how I prepped it was I took some uh, Krylon spray gesso, gave it a good whitening let it dry, hit it with some 400 sandpaper because uh, it does leave a little texture, just a little. Um, and if you're using alcohol inks, you want it to be nice and smooth. You don't want any dips or little ridges or bumps. And then I just took some Rust-Oleum uh, Painter's Touch Flat Black and just psh, psh, did a little black hole in the middle. Um, and make sure if you do this, if you're, if you want to leave a fade, you want to take pretty much any kind of spray paint. If you spray it and you, you're, you're leaving some white, make sure you take a rag, let it dry 100%. Make sure you take a rag and wipe off all the excess overspray. Cause if you don't see it, it doesn't matter. The resin will pick it up and it will make it look muddy. It might turn it some different colors. So make sure you wipe all that off. Um, and if you'd like, you can hit it with another uh, you know, 400, if your paint is thick, if it, you know, whatever you feel like. Um, and it should be nice and smooth because we are definitely using a lot of alcohol inks today. A lot. We're going to do a rainbow type effect. Should be interesting. Let's see, this little camera can get all those guys there. Um, and what we're going to be using today for the resin is Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat, which is by far the best resin I have used to this day. And we've been doing it a little over a year or so. Um, the Art Coat is made for artists. Um, it's made for artists because it's made for first timers. It's made for, you know, advanced. It, you have at least an hour and a half of working time, depending on if it's hot in your studio, if, if, if it's summertime and, you know, your, your studio is a little hot. Um, you want to work at probably around 74 to 76 degrees, I believe. Um, and you get about an hour and a half. We've used it for two hours before. I, I'm... I'm serious when I say that, at least two hours, because um, it was left in a cup. Normally, if you leave resin in a cup, it tends to heat up really fast. Um, but make sure when you do mix, if you mix a lot and you have a lot of colors, get get it out and get it in those little cups. Get it in, you know, separate so it's not sitting there working that, working the working time. <laughs> working the working time. That sounds like e-science. So, and this is a, uh, a one-to-one mixture. You put one ounce to one ounce. 
mix it up for two and a half, three minutes, and you're good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put these little guys aside and get my cups out. Um, oh, and the ink I'm using is Zig Cure Color ink. I believe that's right, Cure Color. Yeah, and I'll be using some stone coat that white. This white. This white. Sorry, we use this and that. Bla that black. This white. <laughs> stone coat countertops. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. White base tint, and possibly I'm thinking about using some bronze to kind of shake it up a little bit. Put a little. Put some streams in there to make it kind of glitzy with bronze. We normally use like a gold. Um, I might even use a silver just because spacey. Who knows? We'll see. So let's get this party started. I'm going to mix up probably about, I would say six ounces or so. Um, and anytime you're working with, I'm gonna go back to the inks. Anytime you're working with the ink, normally we would tell you, put the pigment, put the powder, put the paste in the cup, then put the uh, resin in it. Don't do that with alcohol inks, especially in the paper cups, because it'll just soak into this paper and it'll be a really pretty cup, but you'll waste your ink. So just wait to put the ink into the resin after. All right, so let's mix up some resin. Where are my cups at? I thought I was ready. Where are my cups at? There they are. All right, so like I said, I think I'm gonna mix up six ounces, maybe eight, just so I can, just so I can uh, make sure I have enough. No, no, no. <gasps> That's wrong. I'm doing alcohol ink on this. What am I? What am I talking about? Why are you using resin for alcohol? I know. I literally thought I was going to be mixing the resin with the alcohol. I'm going to be doing the alcohol ink on here first, then just doing a flood coat. Wow. All right. I guess my mind is on Vegas. We leave here in two hours. So, pardon that. You don't need to do that. All you need is just to get some some alcohol. 91% alcohol, bada bean. Um, and then just, you're gonna flood coat it. I don't know what I was thinking, man. All right, so. It would have lasted even if you had it mixed up. Nah, I want, it, I want that look, that faded. I'm gonna fade it from here and it's gonna be all nice and faded. So, how, um, how I used to do it, I used to just put alcohol on it and then put all the colors and, pfft, and that does not work. If you've done it, you know that doesn't work because it just gets muddy, gets crazy. So B, AKA Erica has told me, just put some, put a bunch of alcohol, alcohol down, put one color, kind of spread it around, let, let that give you kind of a style and then put a little more color and then put a little more alcohol, a little more color, a little more alcohol, and just kind of get it to where you, where you like it. So, and the alcohol does nothing to the spray gesso or the paint. So let's just put some alcohol down. We're gonna go in a circle. All right, let's start. How about we start with something Let's start with yellow first. How about that? And I'm just gonna do a couple drops, kind of almost an even drop of each side because I have so many different colors. And see, just blowing it gives it kind of a good even, even uh, fade. See how it goes from dark to light? That's what I'm. That's what I'm hoping it'll do all the way around. 
And then you could get your heat gun. I like to turn my heat gun up. It gives it a little heat. I'm horrible at explaining this. colors in here let's just start with a little green just because we know green goes with yellow You can turn your heat gun down if you like so that it doesn't dry out the alcohol that fast. That's totally up to you. That way if you like to add some more color, you sure can. Do some right here. right in this area where the greens are. It almost looks like an eyeball. It looks crazy. Alright, so let's do... We'll get a little dark into the green, into the black.
I need to invent a stand that I can put this on so I don't have to turn it off every time. Alright, let's do some teal. Can you hold it? No. But that's what she just said. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so black holy. <laughs> now I want to do like a daisy, like, no, I'm going to do sunflower. <laughs> Don't forget you can harness the power of that, that thing. Mm. But like, psh. I'm loving it, B. And if you like, you can just, you can do that, let that set, so that it sets up, you know, a nice fade, or you can add a little bit more and get a little, you know, leave it like that as a hard edge. Just kind of keep going back and forth, so it dries, and a gnarly little hard edge for you there. I'm digging the fade. I think I'm going to put a little bit more darker the light how that goes into the black how it fades off into the black Remember, you have four other colors <laughs> that you have to do, so just keep in mind, a lot more colors to go. All right, I'm going to put some orange right in this little area for this little yellow guy. Probably right in there, here. I kind of want to make it to where the colors go good with the color next to it. Um, complementary colors normally don't look good blended together they look good next to each other so I try to keep it that way but with alcohol ink it's kind of impossible sometimes unless you really control it so I'm just gonna give this guy a little working over with the yellow. Even if, I, even if I have to put some yellow in it, I will, just to kind of mix that up. So that they do blend well together. I am a 100% beginner, so just know this is like my fifth time doing this. <laughs> so if I sound a little crazy and not know what I'm talking about, that's why. It's just fun to me. Alright, where's my yellow? I'm going to put a little more yellow over here so I can get my yellow on. I'll probably be mixing some pinks over here. You see how I can just put that alcohol right next to it? Look at that. Just give you a nice blend. Give you a, 
a fun transition. Nice and fun. This is where it gets kind of spooky when you get into these darker colors. So you, you want to make sure that you just add a little, add a little. You can always add more, you can never take away. It's pretty much the rules of resin as well. So I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do some reds right here. I'll do a little red to come up over this area. Ooh, that is some bright, that's supposed to be crimson, right? I don't think that is red, but that does look good. That's like a bright orange. Wow. All right. Let's go with it. And if you notice that some of this stuff is drying pretty fast and normal, remember you're putting heat on this board and this board does retain heat. So you're definitely going to get a little hot spot so that alcohol will dry up a little faster. Oh, that is red. Look at that red dry. I thought it was like bright orange when I put it when I put that out there. That's crazy. It's so weird when they dry different colors. Yeah, it looked like a really bright orange. The pinks like trip me out when they do that. What percent alcohol are you using? Uh, 91%. And you prepped this with gesso? I did. I talked about it in the beginning of the video. I'll have to go back and watch them. <clears throat> yeah, I literally started this video like I was going to do resin, resin with alcohol ink in it. It looks so cool when it does that like starbursty thing. Mm -hmm. How fun! I you know it's so crazy how it dries a completely different color. It makes me want to like be late for the flight and play it off. Hmm. Heard it sizzle. Did it hit the tip? Hit the tip. We don't know how to. Moose is in his window. I tried to get him down. He's like, not happening. He was not about that life. So I was like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's do. We'll do some purple. Is there any let's color you want blue. that you don't have? Nah, not yet. The amazing Jen brought us all the colors. You have. Quarter to three, so. You got a little time. Oh, also, if you want some black, this is an amazing blurk. If you want to like fade out the middle or something. You know what you do. On the walk through. Ooh, you could get me some. No, I got some. I'm going to say some alcohol, but I got some. Did you find your little blue bag? No, I made one out of them.
colors look really accurate. But it doesn't look like a galaxy because it's a little bit spread out. No, like it's too... It's not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah. Galaxy gone floral. Level this table. That was a horrible idea. <laughs> We'll name it how not to do one. Like the purple just literally got rid of all the black. Well, you can put some alcohol on a rag. Wipe that off. Look at that. Mm -hmm. How fun is that? Look at that, y'all. That's kind of one of the cooler things about alcohol inks is that it's the most forgiving, I feel like. If you don't like it, wipe it off. <laughs> the galaxy black hole of color. Okay. Cujo, I don't think he likes it. All right, so we're going to name this how not to do a galaxy black hole. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go all the way around this. I'm gonna fade in areas that around just the edge. Okay. Do you want me to 
shaker shill a shaker shover. Shoo shim. Is that what you said you're making over? Mm -hmm, let me try something. I'm gonna try to draw on this with some alcohol. Here. Jen gave me these. Okay, that's way too tiny. I'm just gonna try to do some uh, like, like stippling dots. Kind of like dot Milky Way dots. Milky Way dots. makes me want a candy bar. Yeah, that doesn't really work that well. I just, do you have to like do it and wipe it or do it and wipe it or does it just kind of go away? It depends on how pigmented you got it. Mm. Mm. You know what, I'm gonna do some uh, bronze in the middle. Bronze? Oh. That's why I was like, I have to wait to do that with the resin. Well, you don't have to wait long. You know, you've got to like really clean it off, huh? That's not going to work. Mm, this looks too, too fady. All right. So, I have my black hole. <laughs> so now I'm just going to put a little layer of resin over it. But I'm going to put some white in there too. Just some strands of kind of... I'm going to try to make some... Milky Way lines, whatever those are called. <laughs> Some galaxy fun. Galactic ribbons. There you go, galactic ribbons. So, let's back this little guy up here. Give me some room. All right, now it's time to mix some resin. <laughs> We're gonna do a flood coat over this and add a little bit of white. I might use some of that bronze just to make some, who knows, who knows? This was supposed to be a short video. It is now a 45 hour video. What do you think, six ounces? I wouldn't do any more than six. Yeah. You're not really mixing any color. The other day I was gonna try to make some, um, you know our like metallic spritzes? I was gonna see if it'll work with 007. But I think doing a spritz will take over. Probably. And completely cover it. So you guys just seen me kind of go from one idea to a, another idea. But that's how um, alcohol inks work. They have a mind of their own as well. Um, I should have just put color, 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 color random, not try to place it. But I think it looks all right. And this is the stone coat art coat. I'm gonna make sure you mix this up nice because you do not want dry spots in your resin piece. I'm sorry, wet spots. <laughs> dry spots, wet yeah. spots, any spots, your spots. Yeah, and what that means is if, if you get a part of, of resin or a part of hardener that isn't mixed up, that place will stay wet forever until you either scrape it out or put a flood coat over it and pray that that uh, seals it. <laughs> yeah. So you want to scrape the sides, your stick, the bottom. You want to make sure all that's nice and mixed up. All right. 
right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little aside in a cup for some, for some white. I'm gonna put just a little bit in there. And then maybe some of that bronze. I don't know why I'm seeing that, but I'm only gonna use a little bit. There's actually less in there. So now I'm just gonna take this I'm not pouring it over the edges because you don't want to waste any. It's going right towards the center. Makes me want a cinnamon roll. Get all the excess out. A lot of people say you need to seal in your alcohol inks before you resin over it so it doesn't bleed. In our case, it doesn't really matter if it bleeds because it's all over anyways, but you can seal it with Kenmar varnish. Yes, you can. Or glaze. Or triple thick glaze by Restore. Look how it... It did a little bit. It does a lot. I spoke too soon. No, I think it'll go. It'll, it'll just blend kind of back blend out. back in, yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, it'll, it'll blend back in. It's just where you've let it set for a second. It's fine. All right, make sure you get it all even. You can kind of see if there's thin spots or dry spots. You can... Oh my God, it looks like an eyeball now. It does eyeball galaxy a really trippy at a party going too hard in the paint eyeball yes party eye um and whenever you're working with alcohol any kind of alcohol 91 percent, 70 percent, 50 um never use a fire don't use fire around your alcohol unless ever. that's on purpose Unless you're in a fireplace with alcohol ink and there's a fire in the fireplace. That's why I'm trying not to use the torch because there's way too much alcohol around here. Mm -hmm. Is it me or is there just trash in this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 